pizza pan or a baking tray and give it a good spray with canola oil. To keep this recipe nice and simple, I'm going to be using Pillsbury Pizza Crust. Just peel this, which is always tricky, and pop the can. Ooh. Now all you have to do is just find the edge and roll it out. Now just flatten it to the desired shape that you like. Give the top layer of the crust a quick spray with some cooking oil and we'll go get it on the grill to part cook. To cook this pizza, I'm going to be using the Weber 22 and a half inch kettle set up for direct cooking with a riser grate. Simply place the tray on here, barbecue's at 400 degrees, let that part cook for about five minutes. After five minutes, take the crust off. Now we can start making our pizza. To keep it extra easy, I got pizza squeeze, pizza sauce in a bottle. Squeeze some on. Take a spoon and just spread it around. Once you have a nice even coating of sauce, it's time for the cheese. For this pizza, using pre-shredded pizza cheese. For the rest of the toppings, mushrooms, onions, green peppers, and honey ham. This is Chris. Yeah, hi, this is Vince calling from Tony's Pizza. If you have your pizza made with the desired toppings that you love to taste, get it back on the barbecue, shut the lid, let it cook. Eek. Still needs a little bit more time, but start checking the bottom of the crust, which still needs more time, and make sure it's nice and loose. Put the lid back on, let it keep cooking. You can get it off the grill. Looking good. Let it cool down for a minute or two before we cut into it. Quick, easy barbecue pizza, hot off the grill. Let's slice into it, check out the crust. Ooh, I don't want to flip it, but I'll show you. Looking.